أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم زمزم of spiritual knowledge excerpts from the teachings of Shaykh Sidi Muhammad Fawzi al-Karkari The manifestation of the Qabda Nuraniya or luminous grasp illustrated by the earth Indeed, the earth harbors a lamp, the terrestrial core, placed by Allah Jalla Jalla at its center Digging into the earth reveals this lamp or misbah The layers beyond this core can be seen as representing the glass or zujaja These layers give rise to what is found on the surface, on earth, representing the niche, or mishkat, the last feel, the thinnest and most delicate. In reality, the surface of the earth is merely a shadow compared to its other components. Our existence might be likened to each of us being a point within the niche, having an image solely because of the light from the lamp, reflected onto an atom of the glass, darra min az By grasping this atom on the glass, The disciple folds his dimensions in time and reads his book. Returning to his original atom in the glass, he comprehends Zaman Bala, or the time of pre-eternity, when he bore witness to his Lord's oneness. Yet, the profoundest truth he might realize is the non-existence of his being, that his existence is akin to a mere dot. Despite this realization, it is alarming that the disciple might focus on his body and nafs, attributing sanctity to their existence. Changing Destiny Know, O disciple, that if Allah Jalla Jalla has destined you to face a trial, nothing can stop it. Supplications can soften it and make it more bearable. However, those who do not arm themselves with dhikr and supplications invariably face trials with full intensity. All answers for the believer's questions are found in the word of Allah Jalla Jalla. A woman sees herself in a dream ill and seeking medicine. Someone comes to her, hands her the Qur'an and says, read it. Sayyidah Shaykh responds, The Qur'an is a source of healing for believers, al-mu'mineen. Allah Jalla Jalla states in Surah Al-Isra, verse 82, We send down the Qur'an that which is a healing and a mercy for the believers. Yet, this only increases the loss of the unjust. This promise does not apply to everyone, but only to those who have reached the level of faith, al-Iman. As Allah Jalla Jalla in this verse addresses the mu'mineen, not merely Muslims. One who seeks healing will find it in the Qur'an, for everything lies within the word of Allah Jalla Jalla. Every science the disciple wishes to uncover, every solution he needs for his problems, and every means to achieve wealth is in his book. It encompasses all knowledge for education, becoming a scientist, and even understanding history. In essence, the divine word holds an answer to everything. The sole requirement for the seeker is Iman. Without it, he cannot expect to attain anything previously mentioned. It is also a misconception to think that these answers are accessible through intellect, as if one could understand the Qur'an simply by using intelligence. Understanding does not require intelligence. The fundamental prerequisite is a pure heart.